We're less than one month away from the NSIC tournament. Here are my top five teams taking shape for the Sanford Pentagon right now. At number five, it's the debut of the Bemidji State men. The Beavers have won four of their last five, with the only loss coming in overtime. And kind of quietly, they've won 11 of their last 14 overall. They're in fourth place in the NSIC North Division, behind perennial favorites Northern State, MSU Moorhead, and Minnesota Duluth. But with a veteran team that shoots the ball better than anyone in the conference, BSU has the chance to make some noise down the stretch. Coming in at number four, the Minnesota State women. The Mavericks swept a weekend home series against SMSU in Sioux Falls and have won five in a row overall. MSU continues to hound teams defensively, averaging 17 steals a game and forcing more than 26 turnovers a contest. Combine that with the highest scoring offense in the league, and the Mavs are clearly rolling at the right time. At number three, the Minnesota Duluth women, who've officially clinched the first playoff spot of the season. UMD's sweep of MSU Moorhead and Northern State on the road, combined with their travel partner St. Cloud State losing both of its games to those squads, means the Bulldogs are officially NSIC North Division champions. They'll be the North's top seed and automatically advance to the Pentagon phase of the conference tournament. There's still plenty to play for down the stretch to enhance the resume for the big dance, but for now, UMD is in excellent shape. Coming in once again at number two, the Northern State men. The Wolves have now won six in a row and finished off an impressive weekend sweep on I Hate Winter Weekend over St. Cloud State and Minnesota Duluth. The win over UMD means that Northern State now has swept both Minnesota Duluth and MSU Moorhead in the regular season, providing two critical tiebreakers over the two teams closest to the Wolves in the standings. And for the second straight week, the Augustana women are my number one team. The Vikings had a couple of tough road tests at Winona State and Upper Iowa, but still emerged with a weekend sweep. Ashlyn Duffy had a career-high 35 points against the Peacocks, and Augie extended its winning streak to nine. A big test awaits this weekend, however, against Minnesota State, as both teams vie for the NSIC South division title.